And um, then after a while he sent me a picture and it was literally a completely different person. Hello everybody and welcome back to another video on my channel and as you can tell from the title I'm going to be giving you my second story time video today. And I've been saving this one for quite a while but I think it's time now because it's quite a juicy story. So this is the story of the time I got catfished. Okay so this must have been about four or five years ago and it was before I'd come out. So keeping that in mind. And I was on this website called Tagged. Now, if you don't know what that is, it's kind of like you have a profile and stuff. It's kind of like Facebook back in the day, but people used it more to hook up rather than to socialise with people, basically. And I didn't have, like, none of my usual friends were on it or anything. So I thought, like, I could have an account on there and, like, kind of explore who I wanted to be at the time because I didn't have down if I was gay by straight over. So it was my way of, like, being able to explore and talk to different people. So I was on there, ch started chatting to this guy, and his catfish name was Ollie. So if you're watching this, then this is about you, but probably not, because hopefully they've deactivated the account. So yeah, we got to chat him, um, and then like things were good. Then after a while, they went away. Um, then a few months later, come back, we started chatting some more, like just catching up. And then we moved on to chatting on to Kick. And if you don't know what that is, I don't think people use it anymore, I don't know. But um, it's kind of like BBM sort of thing, where you just like instant messages and pictures. So we was chatting on there. And then I asked him to send me another picture, because like, it's been a while. And um, after a while, they finally sent me a picture. And looking back at it now, I realised I was being stupid. But it was obviously a picture of an attractive guy about my age, open shirt, abs, nice smile. <clears throat> but I didn't think past it at the time. I thought, oh, great, he's cute, attractive, and he finds me attractive. So we just carried on chatting. We were chatting on Kick and just messaging each other. And like, at the time, we started to like kind of, oh, I started to develop, develop feelings for Ollie. Um, but obviously this was before I come out so I couldn't just like, open be, openly be like oh yes I've been chatting to this guy blah 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 and so I kind of basically when I came out I kind of came out for the reason that I wanted to meet this person so I was like because if I do it in the closet then I can't really be myself I couldn't invite the person back to my house or publicly hang out and pub uh, hang out with them to see where things go so I had to just come out and obviously I did that I've explained that all before and, but I didn't explain to my mum anything about that at the time because I just come out at the time I didn't mention there was no person but I was like taking things a step at a time and then so I wrote the letter to my mum blah blah and then I told Ollie that I'd done it and, uh, and then I was like uh, Ollie was like oh well done I'm proud of you blah 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 so you know in a way I kind of thanked this person because they were the reason that helped me come out so you know in a way I'm kind of thankful for it but yeah so I'd come out and then like we were chatting to plan a meet up and then after a while, it just disappeared again. And then I must have been out. Obviously, I was upset because um, I didn't know what happened, no explanation, no replies or anything. And this must have been about a year or so later, come back again. I was like, oh, hi, where have you just been? You know, we were like chatting, we just left. And then they kind of gave me this story where apparently him and his friend had been like boy racers in their cars and he got into an accident with his leg or something. And um, I had to go to hospital and have them stuck a thing stuck on. Apparently, I had to have an operation. Bearing in mind, he was chatting to me through while all this was happening. And, like, there yeah, was only like a five minute break in between messaging. And, being like, and he come back and he's like, oh, it's done. I was like, no operation could be done in five minutes. And how can you be messaging me whilst you're in the hospital bed like that with things all over you? So I kind of didn't believe it. But and then he sent me a picture of, I think it was his leg, with like stitches in it. So I was like, okay, so you must be in hospital. But how can you be messing with me? I was so confused. I was like, questions. But at the same time, I was like, oh, okay, well, it's over now. So we can move on and chat and hopefully meet up. And we chatted about joking around about meeting up and stuff. But at the time, I just let it slide because I was like, oh, well, you're healthy now. And then after a while, I let, like, wait, it's like, wait a while. I asked for a new picture because it had been like a year or so since. So I was like, well, what do you look like now? You know, people change. And then he was like, oh, no, I can't just send you a picture. I'm not your monkey. I can't just send a picture whenever you want. Or he used to be like, oh, no, my phone camera's broken. I broke it. I've got to get a new phone, blah, blah, blah. All these excuses, which obviously I didn't know they were excuses at the time. So I believed him. So that happened. And um, then after a while, he sent me a picture. And it was literally a completely different person I could tell straight away. And um, I was like, are you, are you telling me this is you? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, you've been lying to me all along. And then, bearing in mind, he sent me like three different pictures of people in the past. And fun fact, one of the pictures of the people he had sent me in the past, I then later on in life, not searching for enough, and they appeared in like my Instagram or somewhere like that. And I was, I was like, oh my god, that's that person that Ollie used to be. And I messaged this person saying, did you know someone's using your fake pictures, blah, blah, blah. 
and um, they said yeah it happened all the time I was like oh okay <laughs> but that was just like one of the picture faces Ollie pretended to be so this is another so this is like years later this picture I was like yeah this is he was like yeah I've been lying to you all the time this is really what I look like sorry blah 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 I was like oh okay fair enough and then he finally sent me like more than one picture so I was like okay maybe I believe you slightly more and then obviously as you get to chat and things sound a bit suspicious or fishy even though like I've got some pictures I'm still not 100% satisfied and then he sent me another picture and it's like him and this this little baby and I was like okay well there was kids involved which was apparently a picture of him and his niece and I was like alright okay I just believed him because I was like benefit of the doubt you know like since some of it seemed to add up but some of it didn't and then after a while I just kind of because I've been watching catfish tv show I was like I'm a bit smart I'm smarter than this and I, just, I had to figure it out for myself because this person wasn't going to give me no answer straightforward. Clearly, was they? No, there wasn't. So what did I do? I got some of the pictures of this new person he sent me, the like current one, and um, I ran them through Google Images. Now, some of them were like just normal man, some of them man and baby, some of them man at a gym, you know, obviously because of course it was going to be a buff guy that they were going to crash fish me with. And um, some of them didn't return no results. So I was like, okay, maybe it's looking positive, could be real. And then. All of a sudden, another one pops up because we are linked to Twitter, doesn't it? Yes, it does. <laughs> and um, then I follow the Twitter link. I was like, okay, that's the guy in the picture. But oh, what's this? It's a different name. Now, the real name of this person's account was Mitch, someone. I'm not going to give it away, but Mitch, someone. And I was like, okay, well, this doesn't say Ollie, does it? No, it doesn't. It says Mitch. So, and yes, I'm naming and shaming. Not Mitch, because Mitch was the nice person, but anyway. Um, so yeah, I click on this profile, and it's legit a whole new person called Mitch. And um, there's loads of pictures of him at gym, because he's like a fitness instructor or something. And I was like, um, okay. So I, mess I had to privately message this man, and be like, Hi, did you know someone's using pictures of you, and pictures of you and your baby, whoever that baby is, someone has pretended to be you using pictures. And I was like, can't, can't send pictures, who knows who they're to send a picture of this baby to, do you know what I mean? So, um message him he replied back to me as he had no idea that's been going on he was very grateful that i informed him of what was happening and um he said the picture was his daughter the baby i was like okay well that's just even more wrong with the fact that he's pretending to be a kid and his daughter and passing it off as his niece and stuff so it got a bit far so i handed i handed it over to him i told him all the information that i knew and um funny thing is I, com I obviously I finally confessed to Ollie I was like okay so I've just literally had confirmation from the person in this picture this is not you I know you've been lying to me this whole time and all of a sudden he broke down told me the truth sent me a message about that long long story short um Ollie turned out to be a woman <laughs> so not only did I come out for a man that was catfishing me it was a woman I come out of the closet for a woman because I thought this woman was a man and I fell for it and I was stupid but I managed to crack the case and it turns out this woman, I'm not going to name the woman but I'm going to call her Penny because it sounds similar so Penny turn, it, um, told me the reason she catfished me under Ollie was because she was using the Ollie profile to stalk her ex-boyfriend or something and I and apparently she was only chatting to me because I messaged her first and she replied back I was like well why didn't you, why did you you could just not reply back to me. You could have told me, like, you knew, I was like, you knew I was coming out of the closet to say I like men and you're a woman. So how is that ever going to work? She was like, oh, I still think it might be something between us. I was like, it's never going to work. I came out for, for men, not for you. <laughs> so she was also very deluded. And the funny thing is, it turns out that Mitch actually knew Penny. And they knew, and I told Penny that I told Mitch, is that like, you're going to fall call the police I'm scared I was like no I'm not but I have told the person about it so it's up to them what happens and then Mitch was very polite and thankful he said oh if you ever need anything I'm here for you so thank you to Mitch for that and I haven't forgot that and that is a true story and that happened a few years ago now so God knows what Penny's up to now and I think Mitch is carrying all of his fitness and his life and his family so good for you you know so that's just, I had to share that with you so please be careful online don't chat to people I mean I know I met my boyfriend online but I'm smart because I had proof that he was exist that he existed because you know we had a phone call he sent me real life pictures it's, there's ways to tell these things so you know if anything please just be careful out there everybody because I know people are coming online more and more these days but basically long story short when you go on someone's profile if they have no more than two pictures then it's obviously a fake you know be smart about it and try and find any more social medias they may have because I ended up finding Penny's social media, real life social media and I busted her 
and Ben, and she was like, oh no, it's just my cousin. So she lied, so make sure you, you know, check all the mutual friends, message other people and ask them about them if they exist, because there is ways to find out. Like I did, and I busted them. So I hope you enjoyed that story, and obviously I'm very happy now, because I've moved on. I'm glad, I mean, like I said, I'm thankful that she helped me come out of the closet, because if not, I wouldn't have come out so soon, but, you know, at the same time, things happen for a reason. So yeah, if you, if you did enjoy that video, please give it a like. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts and if you've had anything similar happen to you. Um, and share this video with your friends and I'll see you very soon with another video.